our Pasha describes many marvelous events, miracles, one after the other. With the three final plagues, concluding with the death of the firstborn, very dramatic and frightening episode, Pharaoh running through the streets of Egypt looking for Moshe and Aaron to send them on their way. The first Leila Seder, the first Pesach Seder night, and of course the triumphant march out of Egypt. But one of the miracles that's overlooked, somewhat overlooked, is the fact that Moshe, when Moshe gave the Jewish people the command that everyone, that night of the Seder, he commanded that everyone, all the Jewish people, should assemble at Ramses. So millions of people assembled there. Millions of people were ready to march out of Egypt. Men, women, children, babies, grandmas and grandpas, all willing to march out of Egypt. Into where? Where were they marching to? They are marching into a desert. How, how, how are they going to live in the desert? How were they to survive in a desert? Well, I suppose bread could always fall from the heavens. I suppose maybe a rock could be found that would gush out water, that would, that would be enough water for all the people there, millions of people, and the millions of herds and flocks, the goats and the sheep. And the, 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 the harsh desert conditions, the harsh desert sun, or the, the, the fierce desert cold of the night, the desert cold of the night, well, I suppose they could be protected by special clouds, clouds of glory would protect them from the sun and from the elements. But none of that, none of that was guaranteed. Here we have an entire people ready to march out of Egypt at the call of Moshe Rabbeinu, and this may be, this type of trust, this commitment, the sacrifice maybe is one of the greatest miracles of all. And it shows, the, it shows the, the, the grit, the metal, the strength of the Jewish people. How does this apply to us? Where can we apply this to ourselves? We don't have such a call to action. Not at the moment. We don't have a Moshe Rabbeinu telling us to assemble at a certain point. But we, what we do have is we have our beautiful Torah lifestyle and we have our Torah vision, the vision of a perfect world, a perfected world, which is the Torah vision of harmony, of peace, of happiness, of the recognition of Hashem, the glory of Hashem revealing itself to the entire world. We have that vision, and we have our lifestyle. So even though right now we don't, we don't have the call to action, let's, let's for ourselves, let's for each one of ourselves accept and work towards in our daily life, our daily living, our daily, our daily actions and thoughts and words, let's live towards and let's work towards and let's hold in mind for ourselves our vision of the greatness, the greatness which belongs to the Jewish people, the greatness which can bring such goodness to ourselves, to our communities and ultimately to the entire world.